And I recommend before you try manifesting anything, whether you're using the 17 second roll, the 55 by 5, if you're doing vision boards, visualization, whatever it is, that, um, or journaling, scripting, whatever it is, just make sure to be in a high vibrational state before you want to manifest because this is a reflective universe. So whatever um, you're feeling internally and you're putting out there with your vibration and your frequency is what you're going to see reflected back to you. Hi everyone, my name is Monica and thank you so much for joining me today on this video. Today we're going to talk about 10 ways to raise your vibration to make it easier for manifesting. So I use some of these ways to raise my frequency and my vibration before I film any of my videos because my intention is to help raise other people's vibrations and you can feel my energy through this video. You can feel it through anything that you watch and you can tell if it's real or it's fake. So what I like to do like I did today is I always make sure to meditate for at least like 10 to 20 minutes before I start my video. And then I also went for a 30 minute run today. It was a gorgeous day and that helped me keep in a very high vibration before filming this as well. So before we get into those 10 ways, first I want to talk to you about what a vibration is and why it's important for manifesting and just for an overall healthier, happier life. The so science has shown us that everything and I mean everything made in this world, in this universe, is made up of energy. So even things that appear to be solid actually aren't solid. They're just vibrating at such a high frequency, they appear to our eyes to be solid. And you can also think of our physical senses. The way that we perceive this world is through our senses. So when we hear something, what we're hearing is the vibration, the frequency that it's giving off. When we smell something, we're smelling the vibration or frequency that's giving off. So everything vibrates and then everything also emits its own frequency. In the law of attraction, it says that your thoughts become things. Your thoughts also emit a frequency and they also have their own vibration, which thoughts can actually be measured. So a healthy human body vibrates anywhere between 62 and 70 megahertz. The human body becomes more susceptible to disease at 58 megahertz. And that's also like when you have the cold or the flu. And the vibration for a human body that is dying is about 20 megahertz. So as you can see, at the rate that your body is vibrating and the frequency that you're emitting to the world is crucial and vital for having optimal health. I'm not going to list these 10 ways in any particular order of importance. These are these are just ways that I have found that have helped me raise my vibration. There's a ton, ton more you can do. But this very first one I'm going to say is the most important out of all of them, in my opinion, and that is gratitude, which I'm sure you've heard a lot about if you study law of attraction, that gratitude is the attitude for manifesting. So there are many ways that you can practice gratitude. You can pick whatever feels best for you. For me, I like to journal and I like to write down five things that I'm grateful for each and every day, um, usually before bed. And every single day, the challenge is, is it has to be something different. So it can be something that I'm grateful for, uh, for the, that happened during throughout that day, or it could be something that I'm just grateful for overall in life. So I'll give you one example of something I might write. Like, I mean, it could be literally anything, no matter how big or small it seems. I could say, you know, I'm grateful for this shirt. Like, I really like this shirt. I like the sleeves, it's fun. I definitely recommend doing that, either maybe writing it down or just taking like five minutes to just sit and really meditate on what you're grateful for in your life or anything that happened that day. Or you could do it like when you first wake up in the morning within that first five minutes. You can just open your eyes and before you even get out of bed you can start listing things. It can be as simple as, I really love my bed, it's really comfortable. I really love my pillows. I really love my dogs. I really love my partner. I'm grateful for just being alive and waking up today. And that will definitely set a very good tone for the rest of your day. And the second way to help raise your vibration is to just simply go outside. I feel my vibration raise the moment I step outside, whenever I get that fresh air. And I always think of Ralph Smart from Infinite Waters when he always says, 
we're out here in nature breathing in that good ass prana baby <laughs> i'm like oh that's that's what he means by prana it's like you just feel it it's this very just high energy of i don't know of life it's amazing I remember talking to an old co-worker once and she told me there are lots of days where she wouldn't go outside. So basically she would go from her house to her garage, which um, was connected to the house, and then she would drive to work and then she would park in our underground garage and then she would go back to that garage at the end of the day um, at work and then drive back to her garage at work and she would never ever be outside. And that was like, <laughs> that was kind of disheartening to me because I'm, I'm not the biggest outdoor enthusiast. I really like being outside and in nature, but I'm also kind of a couch potato and I have lazy tendencies. So I understand it's, it can be difficult, but it, once you just actually start, like the most difficult part is just actually walking outside and I promise you it'll get easier from there. So, and I know people live in places where maybe it's very, very cold or it's very, very rainy. I lived in Oregon, so I totally understand that, but I feel very fortunate that I have dogs because they force me to get outside. I walk them in the morning, in the evening, and at night. So that's three times I'm at least getting outside for a minimum of 30 minutes a day. So if you can, just take a 10 minute walk, do it on your lunch break, eat lunch outside, have a picnic. It's like, you know that feeling when you go for a walk, say in the park or in a forest, and you just feel like, oh, amazing afterwards. That is because nature has a very high frequency. So the third way to raise your vibration is to just get your body moving. We are, like I said, made of energy and when we get into our low vibrations and we get upset or we're like holding a grudge or something that tends to be that energy tends to get stuck in like some part of our body which is could be a reason why you know some people have like lower back or just back pain and issues or if they have it like in their neck it can really be held you know just about anywhere in your body so to get your body moving to go out there and to exercise um, or it doesn't even have to be exercise it can just be something that uh, that you like doing, whether it's, you know, walking or running. I used to teach spin class, so I really was passionate and enjoyed that. It didn't feel like working out to me. It just felt like I was dancing on a bike. I also used to really enjoy Zumba. That was fun for me. If there's a sport that you like to play, such as tennis, soccer, basketball, football, whatever it is, just make sure, I would say, at least 30 minutes a day, just get your body active and moving, and so you can move all of that energy through your body and it doesn't stay just stagnant stuck somewhere and it'll help you just feel i think better overall physically and energetically number four is to just do something you love so if you're an artist if you like taking pictures if you like to write if you like to play an instrument um, whatever it is if you like to cook or bake do that do whatever it is you love, and I would say do that as often as possible if you can't do it every day. Just really keep that in mind. Um, just do whatever it is that you can't go a day without thinking about. And that will definitely help to increase your vibration because you're going to be in a natural flow state uh, because it's something that you're passionate about. Number five is to just spend time with other people who are high vibe. And the way you can tell that, I would say, is how you feel when you're around them so like i used to have friends that every time they'd ask me to hang out i would be kind of like oh, i don't really want to like i can't explain exactly why i don't want to i just i just felt like resistant to like go hang out with them and when i started learning about vibrations and frequencies and energy i was like oh that makes perfect sense because every time i'd be around them they would have a bunch of negative things to talk about in their life like they almost never mentioned anything that was positive it was just like and then this happened to me and that happened to me and oh, oh my goodness which it's totally fine i mean it's human it's normal it's totally okay and acceptable to like have your down times and want to talk about it but it's just when it's like almost all day every day is when it gets to be draining the people who are of like uh, much different vibrations and frequencies tend to not be able to hang around each other i feel like that much so a lot of times when someone is very low in their vibration they want to hang out with other people who are also low vibing around the same vibration that they are so when they're around people who are super high vibe it like there's like a discrepancy and the high vibe person may want to bring them up 
but the low vibe person may want to bring them down and then there's just kind of like a, a conflict of energy and it just doesn't work but again not to say that if like your family member or a friend or a partner is having like a bad day that you should just like not hang around them my advice would be to try not to go down to their vibrational level because i used to feel like i'm an empath so i used to feel like oh if i I, I tend to feel people's energy, so if someone was also having a really, really hard time, that I would like kind of come down and be at that hard time, and then they would feel better, and then all of a sudden I'd be like, I still feel down, I don't feel better. And now I've realized that it's okay to be around, you know, loved ones when they're in a low vibrational state. But still try to remain at your high vibration because I think eventually I've seen it happen that it will raise the other person's vibration as well because energy is contagious. Basically, if you hang out with someone and after you're done hanging out, you just feel drained, uh, I would say those are low vibe people. And, but if there are people that you hang out with and you just feel energized after you talk to them and you feel really good, that's high vibe people. And those are the people that you want to spend the most amount of time around. Number six is to eat whole plant foods. So disclaimer, I am a vegan, I am an ethical vegan. But um, besides the ethics, the energy and vibration of food can be also measured. So something that is dead, uh, such as meat, is going to have a much lower vibration than something that is live food, such as fruits and vegetables. And I can't say that I'm perfect. I still eat a lot of vegan junk food, and I know that's not going to be as high as eating something that's whole plant-based. So basically um, anything, any food that's in its most natural state that hasn't been altered. But one thing I have been very uh, intentionally being conscious about is how I feel after or while I'm eating something. So if you really sit with your food and you're present with your food and you're not like watching TV or doing anything else, you can energetically, I think, feel how it makes you feel on a vibrational level as you're eating it. So almost every morning I'll have a smoothie and it'll have bananas and like frozen berries and like some orange juice or something and after and while I'm drinking it I feel so amazing it's like all the cells in my body are just lighting up and are thanking me and ju I just feel good and I can literally feel my vibration like raising as I'm having something really healthy like that versus if I were to have like a vegan burger and fries or um, vegan donuts or something like that like I don't feel as good I kind of feel my vibration drop um, because the energy maybe I had prior to eating was higher than when I put than when I had the food which lowered it so whatever you're putting into your body definitely affects your vibration and I say um, foods that are grown on trees grown in the ground that are natural to mother earth that she produces herself is going to give you the most high um, is going to raise your vibration the most number seven is listening to very positive and upbeat music there is so much music in the world there's so many genres and when i was younger i was very into whatever was popular at the time like i don't know little wayne and stuff <laughs> and I never really listened to the lyrics. I only just really kind of liked the beat. And as I got older, I just became more conscious without even really like trying. And I started listening to the lyrics and I was like, these lyrics don't make me feel very good. They make me feel kind of crappy and they're disrespectful. And I know I sound like an old person. I do think I'm an old soul, but I just like, I can't, I don't resonate with that music anymore. It definitely lowers my vibration because it just makes me feel like icky. You know, there's always more positive um, artists out there. Like Pitbull is somebody that I really, really love. I know his music isn't always respectful towards women. Um, but there are some songs that are just you can tell that Pitbull is a very, very high vibe person. I've been to his concerts twice, and the energy that he puts out just radiates, and I think he is an amazing artist. Uh, but just listen to music, I would say, that have lyrics that just resonate with you, that make you feel good. And also, I would recommend listening to high frequency music, such as music at 432 hertz or 528 hertz those are very very high frequencies and if you just type that into YouTube you'll find a ton of videos I like to listen to those when I'm doing something like cleaning or um, sometimes while I sleep and I definitely notice it makes a huge difference when I listen to those frequencies number eight also goes with media and that's watching very happy positive TV shows and also very happy and positive movies there are so many dark 
like just dark, intense crime thriller movies and TV shows out there, and I know they're very intriguing and interesting, and I'm guilty of liking some of them myself, but I'm really aware now, um, especially since I'm so sensitive to energy, again, being an empath, I have to really be careful and conscious of what I consume because it will affect me on a vibrational level even if I don't realize it is. So I tend to gravitate towards genres like uh, comedy or sometimes action, adventure, sci-fi. Like I didn't understand when I was younger like how everybody around me, including my friends, they were so into scary movies. They always wanted to take me to go see Saw and all those movies that just, ugh, I'm just <laughs> and I thought I was just like very weird and I didn't understand why I couldn't do it because like I'd watch those movies and I would literally feel like I was going through it like I was being shot or I was being tortured and I just couldn't understand how people thought that was entertainment and how they loved it so much and to this day I still I still can't and I refuse to watch those kind of movies and another thing is your subconscious can't tell the difference it can't decipher the difference between what's real and what's fake so yeah, maybe consciously you know this is just a movie, it's not happening right now, but your subconscious thinks that it is. So whatever you expose yourself to image-wise, image whatever you're consuming, what you're reading, what you're listening to, what you're watching on TV, your subconscious doesn't know that it's not real and that will affect you on a vibrational level. Number nine is just appreciating the beauty around you. I think as a society, we're just very into aesthetics. I think humans are just very into um, how things look and how it appeals. That's why when you go to a restaurant, people take pictures of their food because you know usually they try to make it look very, very pretty. Um, so you can enjoy the beauty of your food. You can enjoy the beauty of nature. Just listening. I like to listen to birds chirp. That always makes me feel happy and I stop and I actually... Um, appreciate having birds in this world and being able to hear their melodies and also um, flowers, butterflies, I mean it doesn't have to be anything that girly, art. I, d I personally don't understand a lot of art and I kind of wish I do because I know people who do understand it they feel that also on a vibrational level because art does have um, a way of moving you to feel a certain way whether it's pictures or you're in an art museum or sculptures or anything like that. Um, so just appreciate the beauty around you. Um, you can appreciate that in people as well, and that will definitely lift your vibration. Finally, last but not least, is number 10, and that is to practice acts of kindness. Now, this one is probably my favorite because I just, I just love being kind to people. It's just something that's always come natural to me. I smile at just about everybody I ever walk past. Um, I'm pretty shy, so I don't always say hi, but I always make sure to make eye contact and to just give a smile because smiling is contagious as well. Like if you smile at someone, most likely they'll smile at you back. That does, that's not always the case, <laughs> but it doesn't stop me from smiling because that is sending out positive, good energy into the world. And we're all connected, so I want to be kind to myself and I want to be kind to other people as well. That is a reflection of me. We are all connected, so we're going to feel that on an energetic level. And you know what it's like if somebody compliments you, how you just kind of like light up and you feel good, uh, versus if somebody insults you and you kind of feel not so good. And you want to spread that kindness, that love, that positivity. You want to, of course, treat people the way that you want to be treated. And the acts of kindness can be, it doesn't have to be a huge grand gesture, but just it could be small things like holding the door open for someone, or like I said, smiling at someone, saying hello. Um, cooking someone you love dinner and um, when you're doing these acts of kindness also make sure that you're doing it from a pure intention of just because you want to you want to feel kind you want to show love don't cook someone dinner and expect them something in return like for them to cook dinner for you the next day or something like that and don't hold hold it over their head just make sure you just do it with pure intentions. So those are all the ways I have for right now to help you lift your vibration, to feel better, to live a healthier life. There, Like I said, there's so much more 
out there if you want to go and look for them or if you have your own I'd love to hear it down below and I recommend before you try manifesting anything whether you're using the 17 second roll the 55 by 5 if you're doing vision boards visualization whatever it is that um, or journaling scripting whatever it is just make sure to be in a high vibrational state before you want to manifest because this is a reflective universe so whatever um, you're feeling internally and you're putting out there with your vibration and your frequency is what you're going to see reflected back to you. So make sure you're in a high vibrational state and that will, I believe, help your manifestations to come quicker and easier. I will be making another video at some point. I don't know if it's going to be the next video or if it's going to be in the future, but I also want to give um, some ways on how you can instantly raise your vibration that you can see within a short period of time. So thank you so much for being here with me again, especially if you stay till the end of the video. My name is Monica, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.